when you find yourself repeating your actions, say it's a whole series of commands or the same kind of manipulation of data that you did yesterday with the same file, sometimes the thought occurs to you, there ought to be a way to automate this. If you're saying, here I go again, and you're getting a bit tired of doing the same thing all over again, you want to become aware of the concept called macro. A macro is simply a way to take a single action that encompasses or includes many different actions. And let's start with just a, a few small ideas. Maybe in this particular worksheet here called HR list, you're the manager and from time to time you look at this list and you flag certain cells because you want your assistant to later make some changes, some adjustments. So you've seen a misspelling in column A or you know a higher date here in column E is wrong and some others. And although this is a bit overkill, maybe what you do on a given cell is, after selecting it, you give it a yellow background and you make it bold and italic. And uh, continuing this overkill, you use red font and you might even put a border on it. And you like the look of that and it certainly gets someone's attention. And if you're doing it elsewhere nearby, you might copy the format. But if you want to use it down here or elsewhere, you start going through that same sequence again. Certainly not that long, but on the other hand, wouldn't it be great if you could just hit a keystroke shortcut and have that same appearance elsewhere? Now, that's a little bit in contrived perhaps, but let's take another case. And I also want to make the point that in a certain sense, you've been using macros all along. You just haven't called them that. Nearly everybody using Excel early on knows how to make cells bold or not bold. But if you could imagine someone not knowing that, how do you make a cell bold? Well, if the home tab is not active, you could certainly go there. You could click this dialog box launcher. Another way certainly would be to right click and choose format cells. If it doesn't take you to the font tab, of course, you'd go there first, font tab, choose bold, click OK. And you could certainly imagine someone who is doing that after the second or third, fourth time might say, gee, I wish there were a faster way to do that. Well, of course there is right here. We don't call these buttons macros, but in a certain sense they are. Each of them represents a longer command sequence. Here's another possibility too. What if when someone leaves this company, you don't take their names out just yet, you indicate that they've left by applying strike through. How do we get to strike through? Well, either from that same dialog box, we could right click here. Another reasonably quick way to get there, go to format cells, click the font tab if it's not already selected, and then choose strike through. Click OK. A bit later, you might discover there's a keystroke shortcut for this. It's control five. It applies it, takes it off. That's fast, that's easy. Do we call that a macro? No, we don't. But in a certain sense, it too is a macro. It's a single action that takes the place of multiple steps. Now, let's look at another situation. There's a pricing sheet here. It's a bit of a mess. And maybe you've become the worksheet troubleshooting guru in your organization, and you frequently are confronted with worksheets that have files, worksheets that have formulas in them. One of the things you would want to do, perhaps, is find those formula cells quickly. And sure enough, on the Home tab, then Find and Select. If you've clicked on a single cell and then choose Formulas, it highlights all the formula cells in this worksheet. When you do that, you might also want to apply a color. You don't have to do that, of course, but you might want to do that as well. That's only a few steps. You probably wouldn't need to make that much shorter. It's pretty fast already. But its companion, one that allows you to highlight just the numerical cells, it's going to take a few steps longer. Again, I'm suggesting ideas here that would be of value to you or to me, not necessarily to everybody. So what you need to be thinking about is this idea of what are the things that are annoying to me in terms of being repetitious. If we want to highlight the numerical cells here, from the Home tab, we'll choose Find and Select. And not so obvious at first, but the Go To Special option lets us highlight constants. And we would perhaps not want to see the text logicals and errors, just the numbers here, constants, click OK. And that's highlighting all the cells that have constant values in them, just numerical information. Maybe we'll make them yellow or something like that.
And imagine if you wanted to use that same sequence in another workbook, another worksheet here and there, you don't want to go through those steps over and over and over again. So the idea behind a macro, at least initially, is to identify the repetitious processes and then use a feature called the macro recorder that simply allows us to say, let's turn on this recorder, go through the steps that we just took, and then save those steps so that in the future we can play them back again. And you'll hear the words play back or run or execute to essentially perform all those actions much faster than we could do them manually. And the more you work with macros, you might be thinking of larger issues. For example, on this HR list, maybe this is a very dynamic organization and twice a week or three times a week, you do the following. You sort this list by department and print three copies for the various people that need it. Then you sort it by employee name and print a few more copies distributed to those who need it. And you also need to send out a special copy here showing the hourly employees only. So you apply a filter, show only the hourly employees, you print that list. And maybe also you sort the list in a different order and you introduce subtotals, you collapse it and show the subtotals only. In other words, you've identified a sequence. You do that two or three times a week. Doesn't take you too long, 10, 12 minutes. But what if we could automate that sequence? You can turn on the macro recorder, go through those steps, save the macro, and then in the future, when you want to execute those steps, you'll press perhaps a keystroke shortcut or maybe a new button up in the quick access toolbar or maybe even a graphic in the current worksheet that lets you accomplish those tasks in seconds rather than taking 10, 12 minutes. The amount of time saved will be enormous. So we're simply setting the stage for the idea that if you've identified repetitious processes, you can, by way of the macro recorder, turn them into features that you can access immediately.